President Trump vowing big tariffs on computer chips unless companies manufacture them in the United States. When the president will impose new tariffs on chips and semiconductors. The White House has launched multiple investigations into the imports of computer chips. We'll be putting a tariff on of approximately 100 percent on chips and semiconductors. But if you're building in the United States of America, there's no charge. Global markets are feeling the tremors of a major shift. The US government has unleashed a new wave of tariffs on Chinese imports, hitting vital sectors that fuel modern technology. The decision, signed by Donald Trump, targets critical components like semiconductors and industrial machinery, the very heart of global production chains. While Washington frames it as a strategic move to pressure Beijing, the ripple effects stretch far beyond politics. For the tech industry, this could mark the beginning of an era of disruption and uncertainty. And standing right in the middle of it all is NVIDIA, the company that turned artificial intelligence into a new gold rush. How will this battle over trade reshape the future of technology? And who will pay the price when the dust finally settles? Let's dig in. NVIDIA, once seen as the undisputed powerhouse of the AI revolution, now finds itself under immense strain as the US-China tariff conflict escalates. Reports from the Wall Street Journal reveal that more than 40% of NVIDIA's production chain relies directly on Chinese contractors, while nearly one-third of its components pass through Asian assembly hubs connected to Chinese infrastructure, the company's entire ecosystem stretching from raw material suppliers to advanced fabrication facilities has been deeply intertwined with Asia for decades. That intricate web is now unraveling under the weight of Washington's new tariff policies, placing NVIDIA at the center of a crisis that threatens not only its own operations, but the broader future of artificial intelligence. Behind closed doors at NVIDIA's Santa Clara headquarters, intense meetings have taken place with officials from the White House and the Department of Commerce. According to Bloomberg sources, company executives have warned that if the tariff escalation continues, the production of new generations of graphics processors could become economically unsustainable. NVIDIA's business is far from the simple sale of consumer electronics. It depends on a complex network of global partnerships, contract manufacturers, silicon suppliers and system integrators. Most of its high-end chips, including the Hopper and Blackwell architectures, are produced at Taiwan's TSMC, a facility that itself depends on materials and equipment sourced from China. Any disruption along this chain can instantly ripple through the company's operations, affecting costs, delivery schedules and, ultimately, global technology progress. In response, the Financial Times reports that NVIDIA has already begun exploring emergency measures to shift portions of its assembly to South Korea and Malaysia. However, experts warn that such a move is far from a quick fix. Relocating even a fraction of production involves rebuilding logistics systems, recertifying facilities and testing equipment, all of which can take years to complete. Analysts at Goldman Sachs suggest that NVIDIA may experience a sharp supply. Drop by the end of this quarter, as the new tariffs make chip production in Asia increasingly unprofitable. The situation leaves NVIDIA trapped between two unfavorable options. Remaining reliant on Chinese suppliers could destroy its profit margins, while moving production elsewhere could result in massive delays that weaken its technological lead. In the hyper-competitive race for artificial intelligence dominance, even a few months of delay can cost billions in contracts with giants like Microsoft, Google and Amazon. Reuters reports that NVIDIA's leadership has already warned the White House about the potential for a technological setback in AI due to these tariffs. The company cautioned that the new policy would likely trigger a worldwide shortage of high-performance processors essential for training AI models and running large-scale data centers. Ironically, the United States could end up slowing down the very industry it once championed. Meanwhile, Beijing has no intention of standing idle. China is preparing countermeasures targeting American semiconductor suppliers, including possible restrictions on rare earth exports used in chip manufacturing. The South China Morning Post revealed that officials are discussing suspending exports of high-purity gallium and germanium, two materials vital to NVIDIA's chip architecture. Even a brief interruption in their supply could paralyze production. China's Ministry of Commerce has stated that Washington's tariffs endanger the stability of the entire global tech ecosystem, emphasizing that Beijing reserves the right to respond firmly and symmetrically. 
If this trade confrontation continues to escalate, the fallout could extend far beyond NVIDIA. Its processors power the computing centers of OpenAI, Anthropic, XAI, Meta, and numerous AI startups worldwide. A slowdown in chip supply would ripple through the entire AI market, stalling development and innovation. Paradoxically, the United States may end up undermining its own corporate champions. Donald Trump has repeatedly called for bringing high-tech manufacturing back to American soil, but the semiconductor industry does not move at the pace of political rhetoric. Constructing a fabrication plant on par with TSMC requires at least five years and an investment exceeding $20 billion. Even if NVIDIA chose to shift production to the US, the necessary facilities simply do not exist yet. As Nikkei Asia reports, NVIDIA is now considering temporarily reducing shipments of its H100 and Blackwell B200 accelerator chips to corporate clients to balance supply and demand. This decision is already triggering a chain reaction across the tech industry. Microsoft and Amazon have both warned of potential slowdowns in their cloud services, and CNBC analysts estimate that global AI development could be delayed by at least a year. At the same time, NVIDIA's Chinese partners are moving swiftly to fill the gap. Companies like Huawei and Baidu, backed by state funding, have launched accelerated programs to develop domestic graphics processors capable of replacing NVIDIA's chips. For Beijing, this marks the first major step toward reducing reliance on US technology. However, this trend is also setting off alarms in Washington. Analysts from the Center for Strategic and International Studies, CSIS, argue that if the trade war shifts into a phase of full technological separation, the United States could lose its dominant position in critical markets. China has already been ramping up investments in its semiconductor sector, and a complete break with NVIDIA would only push that process forward. Insiders suggest that anxiety is mounting inside NVIDIA itself. Many executives recognize that the ongoing confrontation between Washington and Beijing threatens to undo decades of painstaking progress. One senior leader reportedly told The Verge that the company has become a hostage of political decisions, describing the situation as a war for the technological future of the world. Within NVIDIA's offices, the mood has grown tense. Engineers and managers are working around the clock to keep production timelines on track and minimize financial losses. Several major internal projects focused on next-generation architectures have been frozen, while many specialists are on standby until there is clarity from Washington. Inside the company, the phrase, point of no return, is being heard with increasing frequency. If tariff pressures persist for much longer, the damage to NVIDIA's development cycle could become irreversible. Meanwhile, China's response continues to evolve rapidly. Tech giants such as Huawei, Baidu, and Tencent are expanding research on custom graphics accelerators and neural processors designed to rival NVIDIA's products. Leading universities across China have received substantial government funding to develop AI chip architectures capable of matching American performance. Analysts at Croup Research predict that within 18 to 24 months, China could achieve full technological independence in artificial intelligence hardware. Such a breakthrough would strike a severe blow to American influence in the global tech sector. The potential implications reach far beyond corporate earnings. If this trajectory continues, production lines could halt, AI research could stall, and the entire high-tech market could regress by several years. Projects that once defined the frontier of innovation may be paused indefinitely, and industries dependent on advanced AI systems could suffer massive setbacks. For decades, NVIDIA has symbolized American leadership in the digital era, a company that transformed gaming chips into the engines driving artificial intelligence, robotics, and data science. Now that symbol stands on uncertain ground. Each new tariff, each retaliatory measure, and each delay in negotiation pushes the global tech order closer to fragmentation. The world's most advanced processes depend on a fragile balance of international cooperation, and that balance is slipping away. As economic tension hardens into political conflict, the divide between Washington and Beijing deepens. If this rift turns permanent, the technology sector may split into competing ecosystems 
systems, one led by the US and its allies, and the other by China and its partners. Such a scenario would reshape not only trade, but the very architecture of global innovation. For now, the world watches as Nvidia tries to navigate the storm. Every decision carries enormous weight, whether to adapt, to relocate, or to endure the losses until diplomacy intervenes. But time is running out, and every delay feeds uncertainty across the entire AI industry. If the tariff war continues down this path, its aftermath will not stop with one company's struggle. It could define the future of how nations compete, how industries survive, and how technology evolves. Moreover, China appears to be gaining the upper hand in the very trade war the United States initiated. Recent weeks have marked a decisive turn in the global struggle for economic power. Late in September, Washington intensified restrictions on advanced semiconductors and chip-making equipment destined for Chinese companies, extending its blacklist deep into Beijing's industrial networks. Within days, China struck back with a measure that stunned the markets, new export licensing rules targeting rare earth materials that underpin much of modern technology. For the first time, Beijing had turned its grip over critical resources into a direct weapon of economic influence, forcing governments and corporations worldwide to confront how much their industries depend on China's minerals. Dean Ball, a former official under the Trump administration, described the move as China asserting the ability to decide who gets access to the modern economy itself. The White House responded sharply, with Donald Trump calling China's actions a moral disgrace and threatening more tariffs and sanctions that could effectively revive a trade embargo between the two largest economies on Earth. Both sides are posturing ahead of a long-planned summit between Trump and Xi Jinping in South Korea, where diplomats have tried to keep negotiations alive while each government projects strength to its domestic audience. Trump continues to talk about seeking a landmark deal, but beneath the diplomatic gestures lie two unavoidable realities. The first is that economic warfare has entered a new phase. For decades, China has sought to dominate advanced industries, while the US used export controls to protect its technological advantage. Now Beijing is deploying those same tactics with precision and confidence. Economic coercion has become a mutual weapon, one capable of reshaping global alliances. The second reality is that no sweeping peace deal will resolve this rivalry. History shows that great powers rarely settle their differences through grand bargains. Early 20th century efforts to ease tensions between Britain and Germany failed to prevent world war. Detente between Washington and Moscow in the 1970s eventually gave way to renewed confrontation. Rivalries rooted in national ambition and ideology tend to endure, and the US-China contest is no exception. Summits may happen, deals may come and go, but the core disputes over global influence, economic control, and regional dominance will continue to intensify. The US, after years of attempting to integrate China into the global system, began reversing course. Trump's first wave of tariffs targeted Chinese exports, while Washington's campaign against Huawei aimed to prevent Beijing from controlling 5G networks worldwide. The Biden administration expanded these efforts dramatically in 2022, imposing export bans that restricted China's access to advanced chips and the tools required to manufacture them. Those controls represented a form of economic containment intended to slow China's progress rather than change its behavior. Beijing read those actions as a direct attempt to stunt its development. Xi's government began crafting its own version of Washington's strategy, an approach built on pressure, restriction, and calculated retaliation. The rare earth licensing rules unveiled this year were the culmination of years of preparation. China refined its legal framework to use its dominance over critical minerals as leverage, much as it once used it against Japan in 2010. What the world is witnessing now could be the opening chapter of a future in which China uses economic power with the same precision and purpose it applies to military strength. The shift underway this month might be a glimpse of that future, an era where Beijing's control of vital technologies and resources reshapes global interdependence on its own terms, much as its growing military presence is reshaping the world's most strategic region. Let's hear your thoughts now in the comments. If you enjoyed this one, subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one.